CataractCoach.com, Iowa flange techniques to overcome insufficient zonular support. Guest surgeon is Dr. Ori Mahler from Israel. So the first case needs one flange, one support. So here's a 6 proline. The tip is being melted. Then using a hot 30-gauge needle to pierce that and make an eyelet. Make a little opening here. Now what are you going to do with that? With this eyelet now, you can place that on the haptic of a three-piece lens. And the edge of the haptic can also be cauterized to create another flange as a stop. So now we've got this 6 proline suture that can act as a support for us. So we'll load the long suture in the cartridge first, then load the eye well. This is a standard cartridge, and this is a six millimeter, three piece acrylic eye well. And that goes in just fine. When that's injected inside the eye, we're gonna then bring that one long suture out of the eye. So here's a 30 gauge needle, two millimeters back from the limbus, you're going to feed this suture, the 6 proline, into the bore of that. And now pull it through the sclera. And now inject the IOL. That looks great. And then the trailing haptic can be placed at the sulcus because that part of the zonular support is still intact. The other part with weak support, we've then trimmed down that support suture, which is there. We can hold on to it with tying forceps and use the cautery again to create another flange. There's the flange, and that flange can then be tucked underneath the conjunctiva, and that acts as a support. That's a very strong support at the end of the case. You can see the eye was stable and centered. Let's look at another one. Here's a case, anterior vitrectomy, no caps or support, a double flange. So first using a 6-0 proline, and using the suture itself to push it through the haptic optic junction. Use a little bit of cautery here, Again, on the 6O proline suture, there we go, creating a nice strong flange, and pull that through, and you can see it's going to stop just right there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side as well. Now, the haptics in this case aren't going to do a whole lot, so some people even amputate off the remainder of the acrylic haptics. Either way is okay. In this case, you're going to leave them intact. Filling up the cartridge with this elastic, then placing the leading suture down the barrel of the, the cartridge, here comes the eye well. Make sure you put it in correctly. Remember the anti-S, so flip that upside down. Perfect. Now it's an anti-S. That's correct. Load the lens into the cartridge. This is a D cartridge, so this will go through a 2.4 millimeter incision. And there's that trailing haptic as well and the trailing 60 proline suture. There we go. Looking good. Going down the barrel of the tip. Now the first leading suture, bring it out again, 2 millimeters back from the limbus. Place a 27-gauge needle. And you can now feed this suture material into the bore of that needle. And we can pull it through. And that'll pull right through the sclera and the conjunctiva. So pulling that through. Here comes the eye well now. Eye well goes inside the eye quite nicely. Let that unfold. And now it's time to put the other flanged suture. So now, again, two millimeters back. Placing the needle inside the eye. Using the forceps to feed that proline, the 6 proline, inside that needle, and then we can bring it through. Now you'll have two sutures, one on either side. Now the suture ends can be pulled through, and cautery can be applied externally to create an external flange. Those flanges are then buried, and you'll see we have a very stable eye well. That looks great. Time for the next case. Here we have a subluxated eye well in pseudo exfoliation. The surgery was done years ago. So he's marking where the haptics are, and making two dots there, about one and a half and two millimeters posterior to the limbal edge. He's placing iris hooks to improve his visibility. And all that's gonna happen here is using a 60 proline, first placing the 27 gauge needle under the haptic, and then one uh, end of the 60 proline can be threaded through there. Nice and easy, just using those forceps to gently feed it inside the bore of the 27 gauge needle and then that'll be pulled through. That's that handshake technique of the left hand feeding it into the right hand. Pull this needle out and you've got one end of the proline. Now the goal here is to create a loop around the haptic that's there. So now the next pass is the 27 gauge needle above the haptic. So with one the end of the suture below the haptic, one above it, when you pull that through, that'll secure it very nicely into position against the scleral wall there. 
So pulling these two ends through, that looks great. These now ends can be cut and trimmed and cautery can be done to create those same types of flanges with the low temperature cautery. And you can pull the suture to get the tension you want. Do the same technique on the other side and you'll see this patient's gonna end up with a beautifully stable positioned IOL. Important to make sure these flanges are buried underneath the conjunctiva. Thanks Dr. Mahler for a beautiful case. If you would like to submit a video, we'd love to learn from you. Go to cataractcoach.com, click on the link, submit your video there. We'll happily review it. We'll edit it for you and do the voiceover and everyone will learn so much. Thanks for watching.